I just finished playing Toyshire Room 1, which is the demo version of the full game. I was able to finish the game right around the one hour mark, which was heavily because of the final boss of the game, which I hardly suck at for some reason. I'm not a very try-hard tower defense guy. I like my time with it. I am having fun with Balloons TD6, for example. It's a pretty fun game. Uh, I still play it from time to time. And it's a fun game, but I'm not like the best or who, you know, knows the best uh, tower defense games or stuff. I just like playing them and I play from time to time. So my thoughts on the game are not going to be like the best thoughts you're going to find, but rather thoughts of someone who is partially familiar with the genre and who enjoys animated stuff as well. So if you're someone like that, you may find this talk interesting, maybe. So the game looks very much like the Toy Story films, which is a no-brainer in my opinion. If I were to show this game to a green soldier I have, even that plastic dude would say like, yeah, hell yeah, I seen this dude from Toy Story or something, you know? I think that's a no-brainer. But I like the fact that we are actually being the kid. That was pretty fun because in the game you actually control the kid. You are playing with your toys, which is, in my opinion, very cool, very fun. And from the Steam reviews, I've seen that many people says like, oh, this took me to my childhood. I had my green soldiers too back in the day and stuff, which was nice to see, you know. So yeah, I loved the art a lot. I think it's pretty cool. Now, to a thing I didn't really enjoy, it. it's like a simulation, you know? We are controlling the child, so it, the controls of it are a bit slow. Like I said, I'm coming to this game from Balloons TD6, and in that game you have to be very, very fast, in especially in harder levels, so you place a tower and then another and then another, and sometimes you have to act like that, especially in a mode that I can't really remember, maybe Chimp I'm not really sure, but you get what I mean. In some cases, you have to act very fast, upgrade everything very fast, and click, 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 click. You know, it's a fast game. You have to play fast. So I tried to play it like that again in this game, but it doesn't really work like that. Some movements are very slow. Nearly everything has an animation, which is cool for the atmosphere, but for someone like me, for a gamer like me, I have to move fast, you know? But after, like, letting it go and, you know, taking it easy, it was a fun mechanic. I'm not saying like, oh, please, like, delete this, fix this, make it go. I'm not saying that. It's something different and it's interesting, to say the least. Now, one thing bugs me a little, which is spawning the soldiers. To be honest, many things about the soldiers are bugging me and I really didn't use them a lot because as far as I can tell, they are not really cost effective. They don't really do much damage. The bomber guy is a bit good. Machine gun guy is also a bit useful, but the other two are really not worth your money. And even the two that I praise aren't really good once they meet with the enemy because they just get annihilated. So I used towers more basically i i just used towers to be honest in in the last level in the final boss i just had to use the soldiers as well just to buy some time they didn't really done much as far as i can tell in the rest of the game i generally just focused on upgrading and placing new towers that was my strategy and i had a lot of fun playing the game so yeah, that's my one of my concerns. Like because soldiers are not cost effective, they cost a lot of stars, they are slow, they don't do much damage. Most of the time they don't even have a good enough range. Like I said, they move very slowly, so you can't really go places in time or it takes too much time to go there. And also, like you can't really kite, you know? Because the soldiers also have very little HP. So when they encounter an enemy, they don't really have much chance to withstand that, you know? So they just die. And all your stars are gone now. So even if you want to kite the enemy, it's not gonna work because most of the enemies are faster than your soldiers, so they just die. So yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. Another thing that bugged me while playing was not being able to skip the cutscenes. Now, when you start a level, for atmosphere reasons, they're great. 
like cutscenes, very nice. Uh, like you get a bit of speaking, you know. I guess it's a monologue. Like you're setting the atmosphere. Okay, I get it. But I would love to be able to skip the cutscenes when I'm trying for a second time, because I tried that final boss like fifteen times or something, and it sucked. I had to wait a lot and watch the same cutscene every single time, which sucked a bit, but it wasn't like a deciding factor or something. By the way, all of my comments are on the demo version of the game, like for the first chapter, for the first room. Uh, this is the free version. You can play it too. And I would suggest you play the demo because I think it sets a pretty well uh, scene for the final game, which is also out. You can purchase that and just start from there as well. Uh, I just wanted to see how the game is because I wanted to buy it. But, you know, I just wanted to try the free version first. So I did that and wanted to talk about it a little bit. All my comments are on the first chapter of the game, which contains three levels and is free. So yeah, they may have fixed or changed some stuff that I've mentioned here. So like I said, I would highly recommend you to go and check the game out. So yeah, that's really about it. See ya.